Celestial Television Network. Hello viewers, you are welcome to Celestial Television Network. Um, right now we are at the third harvest Thanksgiving service of Celestial Church of Christ Gifted Lighthouse Parish here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And uh, right now I have a very important um, personality beside me here, our Father in the Lord. Uh, the head of our diocese here in Canada, uh, in the person of Superior Senior Evangelist Prophet Dr. Samuel Ogumboye. Uh, Daddy is here with us to come and celebrate with us at this um, adult harvest Thanksgiving service. Uh, Daddy, how has it been so far in uh, Calgary? So far, it has been so good and. Um I'm very happy to be here in Calgary, although this is my first time of uh, coming to Calgary. And uh, I, I thank all the people, that is the, parish, uh, the parishioners, for the good um, hospitality that was shown to me. I was well welcomed and I'm glad to be in your midst. And I pray that today's harvest will be a huge success, will be also spirit filled, and that the blessings of harvest shall be poured upon us Abundantly today in the name of Jesus. Give the light house parish. So, Daddy, what are your expectations for this service, sir? Uh, my expectation for this service is that um, I pray that the Lord Almighty will send down His uh, heavenly host to come and worship with us today. And uh, my expectation also in this service is that uh, many of our guests will be able to turn up for this great occasion. My other expectation is that I pray that um, many souls. Will be warm into will be won into this fold by the grace of God. Uh, Daddy, we, we also heard that you recently wrote some books um, on uh, some Christian literature. Can you tell us about those uh, books, sir? Yes, I did wrote uh, uh, three books many years ago. Uh, my first book was on um, prayer is my prayer is my food that was published in the year 2000. Uh, then the second one is the spiritual practices of the Christian faith and the third one is how to be fit. All of my three books you can always find them on the internet or uh, through Amazon, uh, all other internet um, places where you can uh, search for the book or you can also uh, visit the publisher iuniverse.com then you see my books being published there. So, Daddy, we wish you uh, a wonderful harvest today, sir. Thank you very much, and I appreciate it. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, the people are, are very, very nice, very hospitable, and uh, very cheerful, smiling, and they're looking forward to the start of the harvest. I believe it's going to be a great success today, and Jesus will perform unexpected miracles in our midst today that shall be shared, not only in Calgary, in the whole of Canada Diocese. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. You ask? We are still at the third adult harvest Thanksgiving service of Celestial Church of Christ, Gifted Lighthouse Parish here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Uh, the service has just ended uh, and we'll be, we are still speaking with a lot of attendees uh, to hear about their experience so far, what um, the harvest has been to them. Uh, right now, I have um, our own yard. Uh, that, that is the wife of the shepherd in charge of Celestial Church of Christ Gifted Lighthouse Parish. Uh, Liz, Superior Elder Sister, uh, Deborah Olufowoshe. So, uh, you are welcome to this. Uh, Thank you Celestial for having Division me. Um, the harvest has just ended. What has been your experience so far? Wow, I would say I have so many experiences about this harvest, but this special harvest is very awesome because we have so many guests that turn up to grant this occasion and it's it makes me feel so happy to see different faces from different um, church denomination attending that attending celestial church of christ in calgary because 
we have so many people that doesn't even know about Celestia. But for them to come and attend this occasion, it's a wonderful experience for me. So what are the moments in the harvest that you really like? Oh, I love when uh, Dalsis was preaching and um, when he made us to know that the eating treasure is Jesus Christ. It's not actually, it's not like a blessing that we're searching for. It's not like riches or goodness or physical that it's the eating treasure is our Lord Jesus Christ. So what is now your takeaway as you depart uh, the venue of the harvest? What, what are you taking home? I'm taking home my eating treasure because I know with Jesus by my side, I have everything and it will continue to be with me and my household and this church as well. So what are your expectations for next year's harvest? Since, since you have already said that you really love this year's harvest, everything went on well, what, what are your expectations for next year's harvest? Oh, I have a like, great expectation for, for next year's harvest. So I hope and I pray that uh, we'll have many atten atten attendees for this uh, our next coming harvest. Because I know we call, we invited so many, but we have few that attend. So I hope that next year when we send out when we send out our invitation, they will have opportunity to turn up in to turn out in full force. And I also hope for our church to be in a better place for next year in terms of everything. Uh, location wise and in terms of many more members and i hope for city and tv to be bigger than this for next year harvest and also to be present too thank you very much harvest right now with me i have um mother celestia uh toy adebayo with me um how, how has it been so far it's been great we had a wonderful time in the presence of god and it's been marvelous we all we're all blessed. We started early and we were able to finish on time. And everybody waited the, till the end of the service. That, that means it was a glorious service. And we really, really felt the presence, presence of God. So what, what would you um, say is your takeaway from this Thanksgiving service today? What, what are you going home with after this wonderful Thanksgiving service that we have experienced today? Our harvest team is um, on hidden treasure, which is all about wisdom and which Christ is our wisdom. So I believe we, we should be closer to God more to have his wisdom to be able to maneuver and to be able to be uh, 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 to be able to be able to be able to um, feel his presence and to live a wonderful life and a beautiful life. I think that is all we really experienced today. We experienced Christ in our in our midst. So are you are you looking forward to next year's harvest? Definitely. Yeah. Since t today was marvelous, I think next year will be greater than today. And I pray that we that we are all present today, we will all be here next year, and we pray for more um, more people to join us, which will go out fishing. Like they said, we should go out fishing. And we pray that people outside are hearing our voice, that Celestians should come and join us to express this wonderful presence in the presence of God. Thank you very much, ma. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> we are still at the third adult harvest Thanksgiving service of Celestial Church of Christ, Gifted Lighthouse Parish here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Uh, right now with us here is um, the shepherd in charge of Celestial Church of Christ, Gathering of the Saints Parish in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Uh, that is Superior Evangelist Prophet Michael Bakari. You are welcome to this program. Thank sir. you very much. Uh, sir, uh, the harvest has just ended, the Thanksgiving service. Uh, what has been your experience? Uh, we, we thank God for His grace. You know, the harvest is um, an opportunity for us to glorify His name and thank Him for all that He has done for us. But also, it's a time to remind us that. Even though we are harvesting those things that we have earned in the past year unto God, we ourselves are going to be harvested on the last day. So today is a reflection of the last day's harvest, when we ourselves will be harvested onto the bosom of Christ. And it was a very good uh, experience. It was a happy uh, encounter. I was here last year. Definitely this year was a lot more joyous, was a lot more organized. Uh, and that shows progress and prosperity. 
and it was a good uh, experience for me and the members of our church. Um, we, we can also see that lots of um, members of your church, Guardian of the Saint, they are here uh, to celebrate with us. Um, so what um, are the takeaway from this harvest? What, what are you taking back home from this harvest? Well, there's, there's, there's every belief and faith that in a harvest, there is the presence of God. We've come here not to just dance. We've not just come here to sing. But we've also come here to experience God's benevolence. And I know that every one of the members of the church has come here with a prepared mind to receive and take home. I know they're, they're going to take home the benedictions, the blessings, and the favors of God upon their lives. And also, as we go home, we also have uh, an idea of things that they want to implement as well in their own lives and also in the church of God. So it's been a very informative experience. It's been nice having you here, sir. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, CTN. You're a friend of the church. The Lord is going to be with you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hello, viewers. We are still at the third adult harvest Thanksgiving service of Celestial Church of Christ, Gifted Lighthouse Parish, here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And right now, we have uh, the shepherd in charge of the, of the parish, the chief host for the harvest of today, um, in the person of Venerable, Most Senior, Evangelist Doctor, Femi Olufooshe, you are welcome to, to this program, sir. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, sir, the harvest has been very successful. Um, it was spirit-filled. Um, um, there were a lot of joyous moments. Uh, for you, sir, um, what has been your experience in this harvest? Uh, my experience has been so great. I was delighted. At a point in time, I, w I felt so delighted because I knew that the harvest that we're doing right now it's one of the world, but we have a greater harvest which is in heaven. And I was so joyous, I felt like, wow, this is just a snippet of what is going to happen in heaven. See how everybody were so happy, we we're dancing and rejoicing. So I felt so delighted, I was moved with the way everyone were dancing. So happy everywhere, so happy, we were rejoicing in the sight of the Lord. So for, for the moment I felt so much joyous was because I, I know that the Lord was within, within us. In, it was present in this harvest and um, it was a time that one would have to remember for a long time. So I feel so much proud. Uh, I feel so much proud about the, every of our members. They've done so well. And I know that the Lord of harvest that has made this one to be successful by next year coming to be better. Uh, thank you. There were also lots of um, uh, people that came from far and wide. Uh, we have people coming from Toronto, we have people coming from Edmonton, and we have people coming from other places. Uh, how, how has it been receiving people from different cities of the world to this harvest? It has been beautiful. We have, we have people who came all the way from Germany, like you said, Toronto, Edmonton, and also far away from United Kingdom. So uh, I'm so I'm delighted. I'm, you know, for me to have people around us to celebrate this harvest is, is you know, is a great time. So I just wanted to thank everyone who graced the occasion, and I know that they have been fully blessed, and the the, the joy of today shall remain permanent with them. Uh, as we approach uh, 2019, uh, the harvest, the the church is going to be. Uh, celebrating the fourth adult harvest Thanksgiving um, for next year, 20, 2019. What are your expectations? What are, what are you looking up to um, for next year's harvest? Thank you very much for that question. Uh, you know, you learn from whatever you've done this year to, you know, to be better in the future. So right now, today was you know, perfect. But we learn to be perfect more and more and more. So for next year coming, in fact, uh, the Lord has given me uh, a name to target for next year, but I'm not going to unveil that now. <laughs> but uh, like I said, you know, I'm going to uh, learn from what we have done today, uh, areas that we need to improve on. Uh, as regards to the, the tag, I know the tag already. And I believe that we're going to have more people coming in because I know that with CTN and every other platform which they will be watching the, uh, the harvest of uh, 
hidden treasure today, they will be so much delighted to come and be part of us in 2019. So, um, my expectation would be that it's going to be perfect, fabulous, and with God with us, all things will be possible. Uh, even at some point of the harvest, it seems the, the whole place is filled up, it was well attended, and um, uh, maybe the church might even begin to, to, to think of maybe getting a bigger place. What do you think about that? It, uh, it's one of the things that, uh, you know, God can always, God works in a miraculous way. Today was brilliant. I mean, I couldn't even expect much more people that would come. And uh, by the time I was just doing the time of the sermon and after the sermon when we were praying, the church was filled with people and I looked at it and I said, wow, glory be to God. So um, all honor and you know, glory back to God. We, we've done what we can do humanly possible and with the rest of the members, the committee and the church at large, they've done so much beautifully well. And I know that coming together for next year, 2019, it will be better. Um, also, we have the um, head of Dowsis, uh, Superior Senior Evangelist Prophet uh, Samuel Lugumboye, uh, attended this harvest today. How does it feel having him celebrate with you in the, in the harvest of today? It, it, is, it was wonderful. Uh, Superior Samuel Lugumboye is a father uh, to me. We've been together for many years back in Toronto, and he will always you know, carry me along. Every time I call upon him, he was always there to hack into our voice. So having him around today was, was perfect because he's a fatherly figure. He filled the, the, you know, the vacuum and um, his, his message today was awesome. People were able to tap into it and I know that people were really blessed. And you know, he's, he's eloquent in his, in his teaching and I know that uh, the anointing of God upon him will continue to wax stronger. And I pray that our continual relationship would be everlasting. So what final remarks do you have for um, those that will be watching um, the harvest videos by the time it is out and for everyone that has contributed in one way or the other towards the success of this harvest? What final remarks do you have for them? Well, my final remarks is that uh, Jesus loves you. Uh, Eden Treasure, as we know, uh, you must learn of Christ. In Him are eating all the treasures that you might want to think about. I know, uh, like I had so many people saying, oh, give us visa, we'll come, on some of the uh, invitation videos that we did. You know, so many people want to come, they want to be part of this. Uh, and I know by next year, with this video coming out, and also many other videos from you know, parishioners as well, I know it's going to be a time that people will be thinking that I want to be part of them next year. Uh, and by the grace of God, we are going to keep, keep on growing. Uh, the church will keep on growing. Uh, we, are, you know, we had our third year this year. By, by the time, I believe by the time we're having fourth year, we might not even be here. By God's grace, we probably moved into a better place and a bigger place. And I want to uh, finally uh, make everyone to be rest assured that Jesus loves you. Uh, no matter what you're going through, it's there for you, it's there with you, to walk with you in that journey. All you just have to do is to believe in him, have faith. And also I want to thank uh, the, the, the members uh, and of the committee. I want to thank CTN, I want to thank uh, the choristers, those who came all the way from London. Uh, I want to thank everybody. I mean, enormously they've done so much well. Uh, my prayer is that we will continue to do it together. Thank you very much and God bless. Uh, uh, finally, um, as the shepherd in charge of uh, the Gifted Lighthouse Parish in Nigeria, not only in Canada, uh, also in Nigeria, uh, the harvest is also coming up very soon. What is the level of preparation for the harvest so far? Well, um, they, um, they actually did and they unveiled the, the harvest uh, tag as well because whatever tag we use there, that's the same one that we use in Nigeria. So, and they, they are preparing so much hard. Um, the committee also has been formed. Uh, they usually give me the briefings almost every Sunday. And I know they, by watching this video, I'm sure many of them had the time to watch the video. There will be so much uh, getting themselves ready for the one in Nigeria. And I just want to encourage them to keep on, you know, uh, keep on doing the will of God, make sure that by the time I'm, you know, I'm getting to Nigeria, because in the next, let's say, in the next few weeks, I should also join them to get uh, everything rolling uh, to set up uh, the harvest as well. So it's going to be coming up. 
Uh, I believe it's going to be on the, the first Sunday in November. I don't want to give you a wrong date, but I, I'm sure it's going to be on the 3rd or 4th. But the first Sunday in November, that will be the harvest for the uh, Gifted Lighthouse at Bumulua Parish in Nigeria. So you are all invited and uh, I want to uh, make you to be rest assured that it will be awesome as well, just like this. And uh, God is in control. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking your time to speak with us. Thank you very much, CTN. You're doing the best. Thank you, sir. Amen. Celestia Television Network.